Hi there, so this is me playing in the first PRE. Um, I ended up filling in to make it an even number. Uh, so I played my Demir Conundrum deck, and my opponent here is Horned Fish. So this hand looked fine. Um, you know, Land Searcher and a Swamp, Cycling Card and uh, a camera spell that I can actually cast. Opponent plays Crypt of Agadim there. It's a pretty um, a decent card for the format. So here he casts uh, Golgari Thug, who has Dredge. Um, obviously Crypt of Agadim, you know, you can see what he's doing. I'm not going to counter that, I'm just going to cycle and fix punch. Let's see if I can play the land there. Let's see if I can play the land there. Let's see if I can play the land there. Let's see if I can play Stinkweed in. So these are kind of annoying Brazilian creatures that I, I can't really kill and then Stinkweed in gets rid of my Conundrum Sphinx all day long. But I'll play it to block the thug. <laughs> he goes ahead and plays Brave Horn News. Um, it's a really good card. It's uh, been a mono black control card for a long time. Comes through again. He's going to bounce his Brave Horn News in step. Tendrils is my commander of Sweets in step. Can't really let him just keep um, getting card advantage there. So here I'm just gonna carry trickery as Golgari Thug. Then he drops another land and he's able to drop the Great Form Muse. Maybe I should have let the Thug through. He's just getting further and further ahead here. Drop Compulsion, try to for an answer. Those guys right there. That would have been bad, right? Those covers um, kind of that pretty well with right? one blue. But it's a real casting class. There's not a lot I can do here. This deck is pretty good. Stone seemed pretty good against him, so I boarded it in. With all this dredge and stuff, maybe I can just deck him, right? Here I can logic not. <laughs> Golgari Thug is not really good, but logic not target. Here I just kind of getting stuck on land. Really would have liked another land there. Get rid of that. Missed the land drop again. At least I do a counter spell for a second. Three point news. There's a land. There I could have cast him on the Didn't seem like great plan since the price kill it. Here's that twisted abomination. That's really bad for me. Control the Necrosages, drop the pose. Let him hit me. He Haunting Echoes is me, which is fine. Most of these cards I don't have that many um, copies of anyway. I have like two ofs. So instead I'm just going to bounce the, abo the Abomination. 
Drop the Sphinx. Maybe there I should have just dropped Keening Stone, I don't know. Kinda had to hope that the um, conundrum would hold back his guy. Then he drops Draina. <laughs> That's not good for me. <laughs> Alright. Search for... What did I search for? Nothing. Yeah, it's nothing I could have gotten. Signal, I guess, is what I got. Hits me for 10. Killing his own guy. So, that was it. He ended up going on to win the tournament, even though he built his deck pretty quickly. So, that was pretty cool. Um, so, he got his he got four ticks for that and foil pyroclasm. Um, well earned. Um, certainly, mono black. You know, this is always a post to be like in with. Uh, always a archetype that threatens to, to take over or do well in the format, but no surprise that it's good in here.